welcome to our Play It Forward video on how to migrate artifacts in PBCS and ePBCS from tests to production. There are multiple steps to handling a migration from one environment to another environment. If you're going to migrate artifacts to your production environment, you will want to take a full snapshot of the environment just in case there's any issues. This way you'll be able to revert back to your snapshot. Then you'll go ahead and take a snapshot of your test environment, and not the entire environment, but really only the artifacts that you want to migrate over to production, and then upload that snapshot from test to the production repository, and then import the artifacts from the repository into the application. So the first thing we'll do today is create a snapshot of production. In the production environment, from the home page, select the Tools card, and then select Migration. The Categories tab will appear. Here you'll select all the items and select Export on the upper right hand corner. Give your snapshot a meaningful name. I like to name my snapshots by the environment, the application, and the date. Once your migration status report shows complete, you can confirm that the snapshot has been created. Now we'll move over to the test environment and cherry pick specific artifacts that we want to move over from test to production. You can drill into planning and then drill into the different areas. You can see that there's relational data that you can select, global artifacts that affect all your plan types, your plan type specific artifacts, configuration of the application, security, and S-based data. If you're trying to export the entire application, you can just select export all. To create our snapshot of test, we're going to the test environment, and from the home page, we'll select the tools card, migration, and then categories. We're going to cherry pick specific artifacts. We're going to drill into planning, drill into the global artifacts, drill into the standard dimensions, and select account, entity, and cost center for migration. Once the migration report shows complete, confirm that the snapshot has been created. Next, we'll download the snapshot to our local drive so we can upload it into the production repository. Select the snapshot, and on the right-hand side, select the ellipses, the three dots, and a drop-down will appear. Select the download option, and then choose a file location where you're going to be able to pull this into the production repository. Now we'll move on to the production environment. If you are going to handle this migration during business hours, you may want to set your application to administrative mode. This way, users cannot access the system and it will also kick out any users that are currently in the system. To do this, select the navigator on the upper left hand corner and then under setup, select system settings and defaults. Change your application maintenance mode from all users to administrators. Now we'll go back to the home page to upload our test snapshot into the production repository. From the home page, select Tools, Migration, and this time you'll select the Snapshots tab. On the upper right hand corner, select Upload. A pop up will appear for you to browse for the file that you've saved off onto your local drive. Once you've uploaded that file, you can now import the snapshot to production. Select the snapshot and then select the ellipses for the drop down and then select the import option. A production migration status report will appear. If for some reason you exit out of this report, you can go back to the report by selecting the reports tab and then selecting migration status. Once your migration is complete, you can go into the environment and just confirm that all of the artifacts that you've migrated over appear as they should. You can go ahead and remove the application maintenance mode from administrators to all users. Go back to the navigator under setup, select system settings and default and change your application maintenance mode to all users. You have now successfully completed a migration from test to production.